I'd like to show you a few tips for working with uh, master items or objects on a master page. These are really useful. This is something that I do a lot. Now, if you have your a document open, any kind of document with a master page, if I go to the pages panel over here, I can see that I can move this split divider here and take a look at all my master pages. Now, I'm on a spread and I can see the spread down here and I can see which master page is applied, right? So FEA two column feature applied. Now, if I go to that master page, I'll double click on it and take a look you'll see that we've got these little text boxes up here with content in them. Now, what I'd like to do is show you how to detach and all sorts of different things with the master items on the pages. So let me go back to the page that I was on. I'll double click out here. And once again, if you look out here, you'll see that the master items are there and you'll see the dotted line. That indicates on an object, if I zoom in here, that that is on a master page. It's a master item, it's called. If I click on it, I won't be able to select it, right? Because it's locked. Okay, or it's attached to the master page. Now, if I use Control Shift on Windows or Command Shift on Mac, I can click and basically override the master item. That lets me go in and make some changes. Now, I'm going to make a quick change here and just say a local view or something like that. Now, notice I'm not going to move it. I'm just going to make a text change inside. I'm going to go back to the master page, and I'll have to zoom out in just a second here. Bear with me. And I'm going to take both of these and move them down. So I'll use my shift key and my arrow and just kind of guide them down here. Now, I shouldn't leave them there, obviously, for my design, but just to show you this, I'll go back to the other spread and take a look, and you'll see this actually moved. Now, what did that control shift on Windows or command shift actually do? Well, when you guys are working with master items or master elements, whatever you want to call them, there's two levels of disassociating them from the master. Okay, so I'm going to actually back up here, and, and you guys... I'm going to show you something here that's kind of cool. Let me, I'm back on the master page. Let me move it back up, and I'll move them a little higher. Go back to the regular page. You'll see that they moved up as well. Now, what's really cool is you guys can, if you detach something, if, meaning if you go in and you break it with that shortcut, you can select it again and reattach it or reassociate it to the master. So if I select it, come to the Pages panel up in the upper right over here. Click on it. You'll see it says Remove Selected Local Overrides. Now, if I didn't select anything on this page, it would actually say remove all local overrides. I'll choose remove selected local overrides. And basically it just locks it back up. So it associates it back with the master page and I can't touch it anymore. And you also notice what it did. It basically puts it back to the, the text of the content that was in there. Now, if I want to, I can do this a couple different ways. I can come to the pages panel, come out here, and you'll see that I've got override master page items and detach objects from the master. Now, these are the two levels of working with master items. This override master page item is pretty much the shortcut that we use, the control shift click on Windows or control shift click on Mac. That overrides. Now that still leaves it connected to the master like I showed you. So if I use that shortcut to override everything or if I just come out and use control shift or command shift on Mac and click, that overrides one item. Now, with that thing selected, if I come back out here, take a look, you'll see we have Detach Selection from Master. That ensures that it won't move if the master item moves. This is the second level of disassociating from the master. So if I choose that, that means, once again, if I go back to my master page now, I did it for this item here, right there. Go back to my master page, select both these, move them down, do something different. Come back to that spread you'll see that that one no longer has any tie or any association to the master page. That's actually kind of cool. So there's a lot of great things we can do, you guys. Now, if you want to, let's say we want to get that back up, get it back where it was, you can select it. We can reapply the master. There's 50 ways to do this. If I select it and come back out and say, let's uh, remove all local overrides, it'll put it back. Now, notice what's different this time. Let me zoom in up there. You'll see that I, I did that last time, and what it did was it actually moved it and got rid of the other one. But this time, because I detached it, it's kind of like its own thing, just hanging out here. All right, so I need to go in and delete that one, and we're back where we should be. Like I said, just a couple different things to work with masters, working with the two levels of disassociating from the master. Now, one last thing real quick. If I Control-Shift or Command-Shift click on something to override it, let's say I do it to this item right here, and I'm using the wrong keys, that's great. And let's say I just change the text inside. Like I said, I'll go to um, right over here. I'll go to local view. There we go. Now, if I don't want it to move, you can lock it. Control L on Windows or Command L on Mac. 
I only disassociated it, did the first level basically. Okay, so I, I broke it in one way. That lock will ensure that it will not move if the master item moves. So you can do that as well instead of detaching it totally. So if I go to the master page, select these two, move them back up, let's say, go back to that page, you'll see that the lock held it in place. And I can unlock it by doing that, and we're back where we were. It's kind of interesting, you guys, the way these work. So anyway, just a few quick shortcuts, a few quick things to think about when you work with master elements.